Hello and welcome to J&G's Electric Shop. My name's Joey. I'm the master electrician of J&G Electric. Today we're going to talk about circuit breaker resetting. When we talk about resetting circuit breakers, what we're kind of talking about is turning on a switch. So this switch is your circuit breaker. So if you go into your electrical panel and something is not working in your house, what you will do first is come by and check to make sure that everything appears to be in the on position. The next step you would do is check to see if any of the breakers have not tripped completely to where you can visually see this handle in the middle position or in the off position. So for instance, if we zoom in here to circuit number four, this would indicate an off circuit breaker, whether or not this was individually and purposefully turned off or if it has tripped. Some circuit breakers, this is a square D QO panel. Normally when a square D panel trips, it goes into the middle position as well. There's a little red flag in this window here that is called the Visi trip window. And there's a red flag that will show up, but this doesn't happen for all manufacturers. I believe Cutler Hammer has a Visi trip window now as well. But this, circuit breaker, if you take your finger and turn it to the left back to the on position, you should hear a click. Let's see if we do. So to me, that sounded like it was more it purposefully turned off. It wasn't tripped. So the next step that you would take is take your index finger, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, slight pressure, pushing the handle, back towards the off position. If none of these handles move at all, that means most likely the circuit breaker is not tripped, but the power's still off in your room, right? Or in your house, wherever you're trying to reset power. The next step that you would take is you'd look on the door of the electrical panel. There's a thing called a panel schedule, which should have individual line items telling you where does that circuit breaker go. So for instance, if we look at circuit number four, which was this breaker, and this is the one that was off, it says GFI rear wall. So that's going to be in the rear wall of the garage to my right. But yours may say kitchen island, maybe your outlets are out in the kitchen or maybe the living room, the outlets are out. So you get to that approximate location and you do a test. You turn it to the off position, whatever the circuit breaker in the area where the outage has occurred, you turn it to off. If you hear that click, this is on, this is off. If you hear that click when you go to off, the circuit breaker is resetting. Nine to maybe, let's say 80% of general homeowners will call me and say that they have turned the circuit breaker off and turned it back on, but they're not hearing a click. And that's because this, when you turn it to off, you need to hear a click. If you're not hearing a click, you have to put more pressure on the handle of the circuit breaker to the off position to get the click. That's the key in resetting a circuit breaker. From a safety standpoint, you may wanna have a pair of cotton gloves or leather gloves on, just in case when you reset this circuit breaker, it may pop. So you want to be protected of that. If you have safety glasses or reading glasses or something that would protect your eyes, that would be a good idea as well. As you can see, I always have mine handy and I never have to look for them because they're wrapped around my neck. 
So as you get older, you misplace things. I misplace things all the time. So this I can't misplace. So very important to do that. But safety is number one. So again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you have no business doing it. You need to be comfortable doing what I'm showing you as well as use the proper and appropriate safety equipment to keep yourself safe. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, video. If you have, please hit the like button. Um, if you're not subscribed and you're interested in this type of content, please subscribe. And until then, J&G Electric says thank you for viewing and we'll see you later.